But first, discrimination claims against Macy's. Twin Cities workers say they were told, speak English or be fired. Tonight we've learned Macy's is launching a full investigation. Hello everyone, thanks for joining us. I'm John Mason. And I'm Jessica Miles. The employees say the threat was clear and they are worried for their jobs. Mark Albert is live outside Macy's at Southdale Mall where the Somali employees work. Mark? And Jessica, Macy's is adamant that it does not have and will not tolerate an English-only policy. But eight Somali Muslim women say it did happen to them here and that their jobs are now on the line. It is offensive. It is offensive. This Muslim woman says she may not shop at Macy's anymore if allegations against the retailing giant turn out to be true. I do think it's un-American. It's absolutely un-American. They felt that their culture was being taken away from them. The Council on American Islamic Relations, or CARE, is now representing the eight Somali Muslim employees. They work in the merchandise packaging department in the basement of the Southdale Macy's and have no contact with customers. On August 11th, they say their supervisor told them they could no longer speak any language at work except English, and that if they did, they would be fired. They don't feel that they have a voice and that they're respected and that they do feel discriminated against. A Macy's spokeswoman pledges a full internal investigation. In a statement, she wrote, quote, Macy's does not tolerate discrimination of any kind in the workplace, and we do not have an English language only policy. As a retailer, we celebrate and embrace the diversity of our employees and customers. And we did set up an interview with those employees, but a care spokesperson later said that their lunch break had ended and they would not be able to speak with us after all. Live in Edina, Mark Albert, 5 Eyewitness News.